Hello and welcome to the Principles of Mobile Marketing. This is the first session, session one, which is all about the mobile landscape. I should introduce myself first. My name is Mark Brill. Um, I've actually been working in uh, digital for uh, nearly 19 years and uh, eight of those have been spent exclusively in mobile. And these days I work primarily on mobile strategy, so I work with both brands and agencies, and I provide consultancy, really helping them to understand mobile marketing and what they can do with it. Uh, I also le lecture regularly in mobile marketing uh, to a number of organisations, and outside of that I also chair the Direct Marketing Association's Mobile Council. And through that, uh, my main role is to promote mobile as a marketing channel, uh, but also to promote best practice within it. So this is kind of an introduction to mobile and what it's all about. But as with anything, no channel is perfect. So I see mobile marketing very much as a challenge. Um, what are the good points? What are the bad points? So these are some of the things that mobile can do. Here we have the broadest information technology ever. And when we talk about the landscape in a minute, you'll see that over 4 billion people in the world have a mobile device. So almost anyone can access things. And the other thing about the mobile device is it's always there, always on. Unlike other channels, uh, which aren't, aren't with you, most people will leave their, uh, won't leave their home without their mobile phone. And from that, brands can get great response. You can get great engagement through mobile. And increasingly, as we see the devices develop, we can deliver some very exciting interactive content. But here's the downside. We're dealing with lots of standards, lots of technologies, and lots of channels. And it's a very fast-changing environment. It's highly personal. This is the device we don't share. And if you're going to work in that channel, you need to understand those needs. Similarly, there's few measurement standards. Although everyone has their own mobile phone, and it can be measured in our most precise way. What are those standards? What are we actually trying to do? And finally, how do you integrate it with, into your existing business systems? And what are the regulatory problems? Now, for some of you, regulation might not be the first thing that you think about. But for many businesses, for many organizations, they worry about how they're going to come into contact with the regulators and the problems that that might have. So what actually is mobile marketing? How do we define it? I think when most people think about mobile marketing, they probably think of this. It's all about response and acquisition. And certainly when uh, uh, mobile marketing came through in the SMS format a few years ago, this is what people thought about sending messages to people's phones to get them to do stuff, or including it in an advert to get response. And that is an important part of mobile. But it also includes this, which is service and CRM. So it's about keeping your customers interested, retaining them, gaining loyalty, and getting uplift. And in actual fact, for most brands, this area, the, the service and the CRM, is the most important thing, and that is often where they start. In terms of the marketing activity that I do in mobile, I would guess that about 75% of it comes under the, the customer service side of things. And the acquisition response is only a small part of it. The other thing that's really important with mobile is the mobile commerce. It's the transaction side. Now, it wasn't that long ago, five or six years ago, when we were talking about the possibility of the transaction, that people would start to be doing things on their mobile phone. But right now, that is reality. We're seeing a very rapid growth of mobile transaction. People are buying things on their phone, and they're doing it through a number of different means. So really, when it comes to mobile marketing, it's all these three things together. So any interaction, any interaction with a brand on a mobile device will come under the heading of mobile marketing.